All right, Red Staters. It's your favorite Red Stater, Jeff Charles, back with you. And I've got the one and only, the illustrious, the man, the myth, the legend, the MAGA rapper, Bryson Gray. What's going on, brother? What's up, man? Thanks for having me on. This is going to be fun because I want to ask you about all the controversial stuff. Oh, yeah, please. Because one thing I know about you, you're not afraid of controversy. Yeah. Nope. I feel like, I'm, I, feel like I was born for controversy. I think you were. Now, I want to talk about that shirt. I want to know what kind of reactions you get when you're out in public with that shirt on. Like, and I see you uh, doing pictures in airports and all that, so tell me. Uh, so in public, I mean, most people like it. You get a lot of people that look uh, that are upset, but um, usually I get more people like, I love the shirt, versus people getting angry. But you get a lot of people, especially if they look like they're from a specific group, they'll hit you with the, nobody says anything, though. Yeah, I bet they don't. <laughs> Now, I uh, wanted to also ask you, because um, you've been commenting a lot on the whole Elon Musk thing, and I like watching your takes because a lot of people are just, you know, focusing on the positive. Mm -hmm. They love Elon, and I like a lot of the stuff that he's doing, too. Um, but I've got some questions, and I've seen that you do, too. So why don't you kind of give me your take on the whole Elon Musk takeover? So I look like a lot of people there, they do things emotionally. So if somebody does one thing they like, or all you have to do is let Donald Trump back on Twitter. Everything else Elon does, you don't even care. You don't even care. So Elon Musk has bragged about hate speech being down on Twitter once a week. Because I track it. He brags about it. He literally told you he's going to shadow ban hate speech with his own words. He literally told you he's not allowing Alex Jones back. People, he, I've seen more people get suspended from Twitter ever. I've never been suspended from Twitter before. Do you know what I say on Twitter? Yeah, I've yeah. Never, I've never been suspended until Elon Musk got on for calling Elton John gay. So my whole thing is like, when it comes to censorship, He's, he's not doing a good job. Bringing people back on is like just simply the right thing to do. But when you when you are censoring more people than ever, like people are upset at me today. I probably lost like a couple hundred, hundred followers today on Twitter. I don't care. I don't want no Elon cultists on my timeline anyway. So it's like, it's like, bro, look at the whole picture. He throws people a few bones, people eat it up, and then they stop asking questions. You know what somebody told me today at Conservative? It's a private platform. He owns it. He can do what he wants. Yeah, is, isn't that what the other people were saying before Musk was on? Where, where, have, where have I heard that before? So so to watch, bro, I've watched conservatives do 180s in multiple ways. So even with the whole um, chip in the brain thing, right? Two years ago, conservatives would have called it demonic. I know they did, and I watched it. Mark of the Beast. Yeah, Mark of the Beast. Now conservatives are actually sort of justifying it because it's Elon Musk. I'm like, bro, y'all joking? So to me, it's like, bro, it's like to me, it's like the weirdest thing to watch people like, it's almost like conservatives are so desperate for a savior that they'll just latch on to anybody and make up all excuses they, all excuses they can think of for whatever they do. So I, that's something that I've noticed. I, as, long, as long as I've been in this game and this political stuff, I've noticed that. Like, if, if sometimes people just have to do one thing that you like, and then you'll justify everything else. And I see that a lot on the right. I know the left does it too. But on the right, it's just rampant. Why do you think that that's the case? I mean, like, why can't they look at Elon Musk and say, okay, I like when he did this. I don't like that. I like this. I don't like that. I mean, wh why don't people think that way anymore? I don't know what it is. It's almost like a messiah complex. So, like, Elon Musk has done good things when it comes to CP. I don't know if you can say the actual thing on the platform. Yeah. So he has been doing good things with CP, exposing Twitter files, even though he's doing a lot of the things that's in the Twitter files. Um, so he's, he's exposing that. All that is good. But... We wanted you for one reason, for free speech. Because he said he said he's a free speech absolutist, not me. I didn't I didn't call him a free speech absolutist. He called himself. He said he said that's why he's buying Twitter. I didn't know why he was buying Twitter until he told me. So I'm just holding him to his own standards and I'm being attacked for it as a Christian, as a conservative, by Christian conservatives and and, and they're doing it to defend a liberal because they're desperate. They're desperate to win. So I think that desperation to win because the left has been kicking our butts in pretty much every avenue, culture, politics, uh, and and I feel like we just so desperate for a win, we'll take it any way we can get it. You know, and one thing you know that kind of brings to mind the fact that especially on the right, we'll just glom onto anybody who's famous that kind of throws us a wink. Like I mean, like, like Kanye West, and I know you, you have different views on Kanye West, but I'm speaking more to the fact that you know Kanye West said some stuff that we agree with, and now we're just all oh Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. Like it should be about you know what he stands for, whether you agree with it or not. But it seems like anytime there's a celebrity or somebody famous who gives us a wink, we just we, I don't know, it's like we bum rush them. Why, why is that? Bro, Kanye West, even though I like him, but I agree, Kanye West, uh, they did it with Nicki Minaj. When Nicki Minaj said she was, 
She was like sort of against against the jab. Her music went number one to the charts, even though she's clearly a liberal. Um, Elon Musk, I don't know how you feel about Tulsa Gabbard, but Tulsa Gabbard the same way. Yep. But like, I, like it's, I'm telling you, I don't know. It's like we're so desperate for a win and for celebrities, because all the celebrities seem to be one way. So when we see a celebrity that's like sort of agreeing with one thing we believe in, like Rihanna wore a shirt. I don't even know what the shirt said, but conservative was like, oh, she's conservative. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, and, and it's funny because like, bro, we, there's actual conservatives you can support. You don't have to be desperate for people like this, like Elon, like like Elon or not, like what he's doing or not. For a fact, he is a at, at, at best agnostic, at worst clear out atheist. Um, he wasn't been chips in your brain, and he said that we should, we can't beat AI, so we need to merge with it. These are things he said out of his mouth. He said he was raising his child gender neutral. Now, these are things Elon Musk has said out of his own mouth. Like, and everybody just looked past it. It's, it's the weirdest thing, bro. If Joe Biden said any of this stuff. Yeah, yep. It'd be, You're exactly right. And, and you know, somebody on Twitter said, uh, uh, I was doing today is complaining about Elon Musk. I said, first off, I complained about what he tweeted today because he said something and I responded to it. That's how news sort of. Was that the whole, like, you can't post Facebook links and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because he said, because people say, uh, no, he said only the account. No, 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 read it. He said tweets that is promoting, free promotion of another app, the tweets will get banned. No, I've never, I've been on social media all of my life, I've never heard of that. No social media has ever done that. You can post any other link on Instagram, any other link on Facebook, any other link on YouTube. I, I promote Rebel on YouTube all the time. Right. This is like, it's, and people be like, oh, it makes sense. I'm like, oh, shut the crap up. If Jack would have said that or, or if Biden said this house should be, everybody would lose their freaking minds, bro. It's so weird to me, bro. So what do you think? Because, I mean, that frustrates me, too. I mean, in every area. I don't care if it's a politician, celebrity, Elon Musk or whatever. How do we break out of that? Like, how do we break out of this whole? It's almost like um, like a team sports mentality. That's what I call it. Like, if, somebody, if you think somebody's on your team, you'll defend whatever they do. Like, how do we break out of that? There's only really one way. Because people like me, people like you, we can say stuff about it and criticize it, but we're just going to get attacked. We're going to lose followers. Mm-hmm. I mean, some people might be like, whatever, but it, 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 at the end of the day, it's not going to work. So what we need is for Elon Musk to do something, or not Elon Musk, any of these people. They have to do something that's a line that certain people won't cross. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's the only way to do it. Because the, the, the cult mentality that I used to say was not on the right wing, <laughs> I admit I was wrong about that. Uh, I was wrong. I've been seeing you push back on a lot of it, like over the past year. I've yeah. noticed it. And I used to, I used to defend it and say, "No, we're not a cult," because in my mind, like I didn't get that, didn't get that vibe. But now it's like clear that people have this cult mentality has formed in the right, and you can't break it, bro. It's like a spell on people, and you literally, bro. Elon, he can't say anything else that will go against what we believe. He already, like I said, raising child, gender neutral, atheist, blasphemous costume that's still his Abby. Christians don't care. Like, nobody cares. Like, he can really do whatever. He says, hate speech is down. Yay. How is hate speech down? How, how, tell me. Anybody's like, how can you bring down hate speech on Twitter? Yeah, well, what is hate speech anyway? Hate speech doesn't exist at first. But if you think it exists, there's only one way to bring it down. It's to censor it. He said, Elon Musk said, hate speech, we will de-boost hate speech. What, what did it say? Freedom of speech, not freedom of reach. Right. Okay. He wants Twitter to be a public square. How, how can you stop somebody's freedom of reach in a public square without censoring them? It's impossible. So that is infringement on freedom of speech, that, that, by definition. And conservatives say it the same way. I mean, but now conservatives are more liberal anyway. I don't know, bro. The only way is people would have to do something like Kanye West with what he said about Hitler. A lot of people turn on him for that. So Elon Musk has to do the equivalent of that before anybody breaks out of the spell. Yeah, so he'd really have to go overboard then. Yeah. So, but, but, but let's talk about the culture. I mean, because as long as you've been in this, you, I mean, you do hip hop music. And the thing, but here's the thing. You don't do corny hip hop. Like, your beats are good, your music is good. And I like that it's something that kids can listen to, right? But it doesn't seem like the, the right wing movement has really caught on to that yet i mean i know i know there's a lot of people who love you on the right but, yeah, but why do you think that why do you think we're still having so much trouble getting into the culture and you know and embracing a lot of this stuff because conservatives are corny i mean no, i mean like when listen bro if I, if I go to where i'm from and if it's not me asking them so because people already know i'm a conservative where i'm from but if somebody ran like what what's your main view of a conservative it's not going to be cool it's going to be stick up you know what I'm saying? Somebody that tries their hardest to sound smart all day, even though they're saying like 
something that you can say in 10 minutes, they make it 20. Mm -hmm. And nobody views conservatism as cool. And with me personally, I'm, a little, I'm, I'm very controversial, I'm very aware of that. So a lot of like mainstream conservatives, unless I make something go viral, like let's go Brandon, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. you know, burn Balenciaga, like they have to report on that because they have no choice because it went viral. But the, the support a lot of other people get, my music is not gonna get it, but I don't even understand why people that are not as controversial as me, like Topher not as controversial as me, mm -hmm. why is he not propped up by the establishment on the right? You know what I'm saying? I don't know the answer to that. Um, maybe they view rap as not real hip hop. Rap is not real music. That That's kind of what I'm thinking. No, I think that's what it is, because there's no other reason. It makes no sense. I mean, Ben Shapiro actually said that hip hop is not music. <laughs> but, and, and this is not me sounding cocky or anything. This is just a reality. I'm here at this event. There's many influencers here, right? I feel like the rappers are happy to take the most pictures, almost. I mean, you have people that are like, obviously above whatever, you know what I'm saying? But we have lots of people trying to take pictures with us. Mm -hmm. There's no excuse, more than 90% of people speaking. So there's really no excuse for us not to have the support that a lot of these other people get. But, you know, we're not real music, bro. Do you think that part of this is a disconnect between like the regular everyday conservative and then like your influencers, your politicians? Because it seems like, like you get a lot of love from regular people. Like they have no problem. Like you had a whole MAGA challenge where you had white conservatives rapping. <laughs> it was it, some of it was kind of tragic, but but some of it was good. <laughs> but but do, do you think I just I see this disconnect between the regular folks and you know, I guess the establishment. Like I think that you know, and like we've got Rona McDaniel in charge of the RNC, or Harmy Dillon's trying to challenge her, and a lot of people want Harmy Dillon to win, but it just seems like they are so ensconced. Even Trump, he did a lot of damage to the establishment, but it's still there. So how do you, I, th I see that as one of the biggest obstacles to the conservative movement. Do you, how do you, how do you suggest that we even break through that? That question, if I knew the answer, I would, uh, <laughs> like, I mean, because to me, I view it as like you get a couple songs to go viral on your own, they'll have no choice. And it's, it doesn't work like that. I probably had like six songs on number one this year. You know what I'm saying? And only one of them was reported on by Fox News. I've never been on Tucker Carlson's show. You know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know how to, how to I, in that way, I don't know how to break through. And if I find the answer, I will let you know. Well, let's hope that happens. So uh, thanks for joining us. Why don't you let everybody know where they can find you? Uh, Real Bryson Gray on Twitter, unless I get banned for criticizing Elon. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Bryson Gray on YouTube, Bryson Creates on Instagram. All right. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you, brother.